Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Elliot. Thank you for tuning in. So today we are shortly going to discuss what decentralized finance is and how you can get into this market and uh, hopefully you can make some crazy returns like you've been hearing about. So one of the first things that I wanted to show is like a crazy trend that we see right now within the market of DeFi. So the amount of locked up US dollars has been going up from $1 billion all the way to $45 billion almost uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Um, now we have seen a correction a little bit with $38 billion, but this is also because of the fact that a lot of people are um, giving up like their Ethereum and, uh, and other coins and those of course have kind of dropped in value the past few, a few uh, days. So, well, crypto is going to stay crypto, right? So one of the things most of you have probably heard about are applications that are called Uniswap and SushiSwap. So Uniswap and SushiSwap are basically decentralized applications where without custodial over your assets, you can connect your wallet, so your own wallet, and then you can give them liquidity and basically earn um, returns from the liquidity pool. So whenever somebody wants to buy your Ethereum or uh, the US dollars that they're giving them, so the wrapped US dollars, then you are getting share of the transaction fees that are actually happening there. So one of the things and the trends that we have been seeing these past few months is basically a migration from the Ethereum network into the Binance Smart Chain, which is something that we are going to discuss today. So the reason for that is, and probably why we are also watching this video is because Ethereum has such high fees that if you want to step in with like a few hundred bucks or even a few thousand dollars, then if you need to pay every single time $20 for every smart contract or even more, it becomes like a nuance uh, at some point. And um, um, well, I do understand why a lot of people are stepping over to Binance Smart Chain. Um, the reason why this is happening is because in comparison to Ethereum, it costs you just a few cents to do a transaction or a smart contract when on Ethereum it takes you like 20 bucks, 40 bucks sometimes even. I've seen even moments where it was like $120, which is insane if you are trying to like stake $2,000 or $200 and you're trying to create like a return, even if it's like 40, 400% or 300%, you're already taking the risk there. But if you're losing all of that for, um, for the transaction fees, I mean, what's the point, right? So yeah, so today we're going to uh, show you how you can get into Binance Smart Chain with a few simple steps. So the first thing we need to do is to connect and configure your MetaMask from Ethereum into Binance Smart Chain. That's pretty easy to do. So you go to the website, I will put a link below. You can go to academy.binance and then you can search up connecting MetaMask into Binance Smart Chain. So this is how you can do it. You press on your MetaMask you expand the view, right? And then what we can do here is, as you can see here, it says Ethereum mainnet. So we press on this one and we will add a custom RPC, which is basically connecting into a different chain. So here it says network name. We will just copy everything that it states here into the MetaMask. All right, just making sure that the links are also correct, all of them. Cool, almost there. All right, once you get that one done and you also connect the block explorer, you can press on save. All right, now it's saved. As you can see, it says here smart chain. All right, I'm also connected to the smart chain. As you can see, I have zero Binance coin and um, the address is still exactly the same. All right, so once we have configured our MetaMask into Binance Smart Chain, what we can do is we can start withdrawing funds and uploading them into this account. So what you can do is you go to your Binance and then you go to your wallet. You do fiat and spot, uh, deposit and withdraw. Let me just go with you guys. So, all right, I'm gonna press it, it's refreshing. All right, select here BNB, select withdraw. All right, and now what we can do is we can add an address. So if you have not done that yet, just take the process into adding a new address. 
making sure that it's on BSC. So some it, it really depends on your configuration within Binance. Mine has like extra uh, security where you need to have a 2FA to add a new address. For some of you, it might be much easier. So you can just uh, paste or copy and paste your address. Just make sure that it's the correct address. You go here, you see you're ending with 49. This one also ends with 49. Now here's something very important. The transfer network needs to be here on Binance Smart Chain. So make sure this one is selected. Then withdraw the amount that you want to do. For this experiment, I'm just going to do one BNB. You submit and then you basically, um, well, you enter your email verification and, uh, and verification code. And then let's wait until you receive it within the address. All right, so once you receive your BNB, you can go to pancakeswap.finance. You can you connect your wallet by pressing on connect, select MetaMask, and then you are connected. If you are not connecting, make sure that you are connected into the Binance Smart Chain and not the uh, Ethereum mainnet. So basically the chain that we have added before. So once you have connected, there are a few things that we can do, but mainly most of them start with the first thing. So I'm assuming you either you trans uh, transfer BNB or cake. Now for every transaction that you're doing on the centralized finance on Binance, you're going to have to pay fees within BNB. So even if you have transferred only cake, now you're going to have to transfer also BNB. So you're you are able to transact within this uh, this platform. If not, it's just not going to work. All right, so after connecting the wallet, we can basically press C on the farm and we can see what the farms have to offer. What happens here is basically because there is no order book like on Binance and other centralized exchanges, what happens here is that they make use of liquidity pools, mm -hmm. which means that if you have one Binance coin and it's worth 20 uh, cakes, then I can basically uh, provide that as a liquidity to the pool and then I will get a share from the transaction fees that are created there. Now, if one BNB is worth 20 cakes, I will receive one liquidity pool that is worth about that amount. So um, one of the things that we can see here is if we are just browsing and seeing what they have to offer, some of these have like extreme, extreme returns, like 474%, and I've even seen stuff like 5,000%. So crazy returns. But one of the risks that we see here is something that is called impermanent loss, which is basically that one of the tokens that you have provided into the liquidity pool loses valuation in such a speed that if I provide, let's say, one BNB token and 20 cakes, which are almost exactly the same valuation, what happens then if the cakes drop by 90% of the valuation against like the BNB coin is that the liquidity pool is being soaked out of all these tokens that they lose so many much value that basically you're going to lose everything. Like the, the amount of the uh, liquidity pool tokens that you have, you can switch them back. But if you gave them one BNB token, basically you're going to get back like 0 0.01 uh, Binance token, which is something that happens a lot of times within the yield farming market. So if we're willing to take the risk of impenetrable loss, uh, one of the things that you can also do is if you're expecting two of the token prices to say a little bit of the same valuation, then the risk is a little bit lower than other ones. And you notice that uh, these higher amounts of 470 or 480 percent, that's because the volatility or the liquidity within um, within one of the t these tokens is basically much higher than the other ones. So if you're also going to find like a new farm, where a new token is launched and they are giving you like, I don't know, 30,000% or something. That's because the uh, they hire the percentage. Most of the time they hire the, 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 the risk because of low liquidity and um, well, the risk associated with it. So what can you do now? So one of the things that we want to do is we can, we want to get our hands on some cake. Um, Let's spend, let's say, just to be sure, we will spend just uh, um, almost half of it just to buy 10 cakes. So right here, what happens is um, I'm creating a contract that says, well, I would like to, uh, well, price updated. Okay, uh, let's accept it. And then um, basically what happens, I'm trying to buy BM, I'm trying to buy cake with my BNB from the pool. So I'm going to confirm this purchase. 
So once we did this transaction, what happens is the fees that we pay here, instead of going to Binance or the centralized entity that is behind the platform, because this one is a centralized, basically the fees that we have paid, they are all going to the liquidity pool providers. So what is a liquidity pool provider? Because when you go to Binance, there are a lot of orders. So there are a lot of people that are trying to say, sell BNB or they're trying to buy BNB. And what you get is order books. So basically, people are trying to sell it for $250 and some people are trying to buy it for $240. And this is what you're calling a spread. That $10 is a spread. and But this is the order book and this is an order book. What happens within a liquidity pool is it doesn't really matter what the price is of BNB or cake. You are basically giving them tokens and then based on the calculations of the amount worth of tokens that you gave them, it's always going to be 50-50% based on the value of the token at the time that you're giving it to them. So what that, that does that mean? So when we give them now liquidity, we are going to get liquidity pool tokens which are calculated 50% on the BNB and 50% on the cake. So let's just try it out. So what we want to do here is we don't want to spend all our BNB. We want to make sure that we have some over leftovers for transaction fees for in the future. So what we're going to do now, we're going to press cake. It says here that if we're going to give 0.5 BNB, that is worth is the same as 10 cakes. So let's just apply this one. So this is share of the pool if I'm <laughs> if I'm doing this. Um, all right, so let's connect to our MetaMask, start the contract. Cool, as you can see, these are gas fees, which is in Binance uh, worth. It's, it's, it's almost nothing. Like compared to Ethereum, this is so much better. So we are going to confirm this one. We're going to close this window. Just going to wait a little while. All right, it's confirmed. As you can see, it was reduced from my amount. What we can do now is if we scroll down just a little bit, we received basically two uh, liquidity pool tokens. So there are a few things that we can do with this uh, liquidity pool tokens. So after we have our liquidity pool tokens, we can do a few things. We can also go to uh, the, the farm and we can start earning more cake or we can stake our cake um, within the cake pool or the syrup pool, let's call it and then earn like tokens, other tokens, also crazy returns, 123%, 170%, which is crazy. Um, but if you're thinking like, well, where are those 300%, 400% you were talking about? There's another DeFi project that is called Pancake Bunny Finance, which basically takes your cake and with compound interest, um, they actually increase it. So basically what they are doing is instead of going back to the farm and harvesting uh, your returns and then trying to make like or making a new contract and um, then actually compounding those they have a smart contract where they do that automatically with uh, for you and they have also their own token which also increases like kind of the rewards but then of course i mean you're taking double the risk because if something happens with their token then of course also the extra returns that you have been promised here with like 400 percent that's not going to be realized if their price also crashes. But the thing here is it's also non-custodial, so you're going to keep your tokens. But again, like there is a big risk that if uh, the smart contract is of course compromised or like we discussed before, you have like uh, uh, impermanent loss uh, that can also occur with one of these tokens, then, um, well, that's a risk that um, if you're willing to take, well, I mean, that's totally up to you. So let's say you are willing to take the risk and you want to go for the 400%, 300%. I've also seen it like a few weeks ago. It was like 800% because Bunny was like, I don't know, $160. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's assume you're willing to take the risk. You can basically go here to Cake BNB Flip Cake Maximizer. You press on Deposit, Max Deposit. You sign the contract, which is a smart contract. It's not all of the gas fees. I deposit. Now it's pending. Let's wait until it confirms. This might take like a minute or two. All right, so it's confirmed. Cool. 
All right, so as you can see, it confirmed. BSC scan, all right, confirmed pretty quickly. Awesome, and now as you can see, I have deposited two of them. Every block now I'm going to create some cake, I'm going to create some bunny, and I can claim them whenever I want. So yeah, that's it. So if there are other projects and you are the kind of a risk taker, uh, that's all up to you. The way you can find also other yield farms, you can go to BCS, bscscan.com and then slash yield farms. You can find the yield farms here. And here you can see new yield farms that are coming up like almost on a daily basis now. Uh, one of some, most of them are actually giving like crazy, crazy returns. So it might just be that you will find like a gem that gives you like i don't know ten thousand percent returns in the in the first year and um but here's one of the things you need to worry about so a lot of these people or a lot of these developers they just forked uh pancake swap and then you're just adjusting some uh things um if you see here a rug pull that means like don't get into this one it's a scam uh, but you can use this website. You can also uh, look at this website, which is a DeFi station, and you can make use of all these other ones. But this video specifically, uh, I wanted to talk about yield farming and what you can do with that. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know with the um, comment section below. Help me get to the first 100 subscribers, and I will do probably a giveaway or something. Um, yeah, so see you in the next video, and thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed.